everyone, my name is Natalie and I am a customer success manager here at Monday.com. I am excited to welcome you to this webinar series on building scalable workflows within Monday.com. In this webinar, we will be learning about best practices for building workflows, when the workflow is a large workflow or has the potential to scale to become a large one. This session can also help those who have already built their workflows and are now facing challenges as it scales. Let's get going with chapter one and take a look at the webinar overview of the topics that we will be covering in this session. First, we will take a look at a brief introduction in chapter one, followed by what we consider to be large workflows and why building for scale is important in chapter two. In chapters three to five, we will take a look at some best practices for building at scale, such as planning your workflow, automations and integrations, and how to best manage your end users. In chapter six, we will explore maintaining and managing those larger workflows within Monday.com, followed by a conclusion in our final chapter, chapter seven. So for starters, let's take a look at our webinar goals. The goal is to help you to build workflows that are leaner, faster, and create a smooth experience for your teams. After this webinar session, you will have the tools to help you best build your workflows with scale in mind, maintain and manage large workflows and use cases, and be able to implement tips and tricks to enhance your user experience. So to begin with, as you can see here, without laying solid and strong foundations, a building will collapse. You also need to think about what you want to have in the building, what purpose it will serve, and also bear in mind any design changes further down the line. The same is true with building your workflows in Monday.com. It is important that you already begin thinking from the start about any workflows which have the potential to scale and become large, and at what rate. This will allow you to then design your boards and dashboards and the features you will use with scale in mind. In the next chapter, we will take a look at what we consider to be large workflows and why building for scale is important. 